When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey, come on, come on, yeah. I don't want the pain, uh-uh, cause I don't want pain. Uh, a two-step with me, come on. Two-step with me, come on. Uh, do what you tell me. Actually, I want to. Free talk to him. When I come to this game, man, to change your brain. When I come to the game, man, to change the game. On the road to richer, trying to make some change. On the road to richer, never change for fame. I want a normal life. I want a normal life. I want a normal girl. I want a normal wife. I don't care about the bling or the flashy life. Because money ain't a thing if it went rapping right. Hey, every day, man, I hear the same song. You ever heard the same song when I turn on the radio? And these days, man, I swear down bad, man, I turn off the shit because I don't feel the radio. You have one life, so live it. Mm. Why did you go these titties? Mm, it's something I always wanted to do. When I worked at Tiger Will and Tire, I remember having very limited sets of these wheels for sale, and um, they were just so unique at the time. Our new logo as well. See? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Eh? That's very nice. I'd like you just to explain the process of the whole step up. A lot of, not a lot of our um, readers or viewers know what it, how intense a step up can be. Obviously, the wheels came in original 15 inch wheels. Um, from there, we, we cut basically the lips off of the wheels. Um, we added in uh, aluminium billet, which is basically a solid piece of aluminium that is cut into a circle. Um, welded that onto the face of the of the teddies to, to give them a, a broader broader diameter. From there, we used 19 inch wheels that we cut the faces out of um, for the dishes that we needed for the teddies. Welded everything together um, to get it from the 15 all the way up to the 19 that we were looking for. Is the bullet normal way to do a step up, or did, was it just for these set of wheels? So it was specific to to your teddies. Yeah. Um, normally, what we do is we'd go. Um, and use different sets of wheels to increase the step up every time we do it. So from a 15, we'd go then to a 16, to a 17, to an 18. Um, but because of the, the, the power that the car has, we needed the wheels to be very, very strong. Um, that's why we went the route with the billet, um, to make sure that we're not gonna have any issues. With the, the safety aspect exactly. of it. With regards to the whole step up, 
How labor intensive is it in terms of man hours? So in terms of man hours, it's probably the most labor intensive customization you can do on a wheel. Um, obviously because the, the process behind the welding, behind the measurements, behind the cutting of the wheels, it has to be 100% exact, it has to be accurate. Um, these were probably one of the most labor intensive sets of wheels, custom work that we have done. How, how safe is it to step up a wheel and slap a set of tires on and off you go? So it's a little bit more complicated than just slapping yeah. a set of tires on a step up. Um, so we, after each welding process, so once the billet gets welded to the, the center, we x-ray the wheel to make sure there's no imperfections in the aluminum. When the billet gets welded to the dishes with the center, um, that gets x-rayed again wow. um, to make sure there, there aren't any underlying issues, porous in the aluminum, little imperfections like that. So once we do get them onto the car, at the end of the day, it's your first point of contact to the road. Yes. So you make sure that it is 100%. So now, when I first came to get the car from you, the wheel was in all silver. And we weren't quite happy with the look of it. So we decided that we would customize it to, towards the color of the car. How, how, how intense is it now to change the color from what it was? So the, the original color that we, that we had on the wheels was the original silver that the teddies came out in. Um, to get it to the, the charcoal anthracite color that you wanted to, for it to match the look of the car, we had to do our cosmetic process over, um, which means stripping it down to the aluminium, redoing our, our initial um, 2K primer, which is like a base coat for, our, for the color. Um, then from there, make sure the, the imperfections of the wheel are all flattened out. From there, it goes to a 1K primer. That's basically our, our last finishing process before the color goes on. Then color onto the wheel. And then it's also got those black little inserts do those all have to be done by hand or how intense was that? So the, the black inserts, if you if you ever look at them, they're actually in a gloss finish as opposed to the, the matte finish that we've done to match the car. Um, that's because the, the gloss finish will bring them, make them stand out a little bit, but also because we do have to do it by hand. The, the insert is basically sprayed yeah. and then wiped to make sure the contours of it are all 100% correct. I don't think people realize how labor intensive this kind of stuff is, especially when there's a lot of detail to, yes. you know, sort of, sort of to be done. Yeah. People take it for granted. Like, I'll just look at the wheel and think, oh, what an awesome job. Yeah. But when you, when you start realizing what, what little bits have gone into it yes. to make it what it is, exactly. it's, quite, it's quite shocking. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is for, for, for somebody who doesn't really know the process yes. of, of how a wheel would get refurbished or repaired or something like yeah. that. You know what, I'm, when I first phoned you guys and I phoned Janine and Quinn to do these wheels, I never, I never thought that they could be done. And it was something I've always wanted on my car since working from Tiger Wheel Day. So you guys have given me Christmas in July, which I really, really appreciate. Um, and especially having a set of custom wheels is special. I've noticed I'm getting stopped more and people are like, oh, check out these teddies out. And I didn't realize that so many youngsters of today knew what a teddy Teddy was. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, so, it looks like with a one off wheel like that, it draws a lot more attention to the to the wheels themselves. Yes. Instead of a lot of guys will look at the car as a whole. Yeah. Whereas now with something super custom with a very high polished dish on it, yeah. it, it gives it a nice aspect where the guys start looking at the wheels. Um, as well as the car. No, you, you know what? You've made me super proud. <laughs> I'm super proud to be rolling on these teddies. You awesome. don't understand. Thank awesome. you very much. You know what? Seriously, <laughs> seriously, I'm so happy. Thank Always you. a pleasure. That's yeah. what we need for. Cheers. Well, this guy's forever young. Forever young. Forever Gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their pig. She happy with the teddies, any? <laughs> I, I'm ecstatic. I never ever thought they could be done. So I'm, I'm on cloud nine at the moment. You're going to get haters, don't you think, that don't like teddies? Uh, you know what, the haters must see the wheels for what they are. A hell of a lot of work's gone into them, so... It'll go on them. I think it needs air. <laughs> teddies. Teddies are peaceful. Some of them are peaceful. Others are ah, ah, ah. <laughs> For every bear that ever there was We'll gather there for certain Because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic